Backblaze View 2 is one of the cheapest cloud storage providers. It only has one major disadvantage. It does not support standard protocols like WebDAV, FTP or Samba. This makes Backblaze B2 only compatible with a limited set of software solutions. In this video, I will show you how you can make the cheap storage provider accessible as Windows Drive. This method makes it possible that every software can now access it. We will use only free software, so you don't need to worry about additional costs. The first thing to do is to create a bucket in our Backblaze B2 account. The first 10 GB are free, so you can start without any payment needed. The name of the bucket can be chosen freely, but must be unique throughout Backblaze. In the next step, we create a separate app key for this bucket to limit the damage in case the key gets lost. The application key is only shown once, so make sure you copy it into your password manager for later use. That's pretty all we need at Backblaze. We can now start with our clone. Our clone is a free software which is compatible on all major platforms and the best, it's free. It can mount the Backblaze bucket as ordinary Windows Drive. The download link can be found in the video description. Our clone will not be installed, we just extract the content of the zip file in a separate folder. After that I start the command prompt and navigate to folder where our clone has been extracted in the step before. I type our clone config and confirm it with enter. In the first step we chose new remote by typing n followed by enter. The name is a free text field, I just name it back place. In the next step, we are asked which cloud provider we are using. In my case, Backplace B2 has the number 5. It now asks you for your credentials. We can now use the data from our application key we created in the first part of this video. All the remaining options can be left on its default value. We confirm the correctness of our data and quit the config wizard. In the users folder in Windows, you should now be able to find a newly generated config file which contains the credentials for Backplace. We should now be able to mount the drive in Windows. I already prepared the required command and you can find it in the video description. As soon as you execute the command, a new Windows drive appears. To test it, I create a file in the drive and check in my Backplace online interface if this file is uploaded to Backplace. The remaining step is to create a Windows service which can mount the drive at startup without further user interaction. Therefore, we download the non-sucking service manager. All we need is the nssm exe file. I copy this file in the same directory where our clone is located. You need to execute nssm exe install in the command prompt. The path field is the path to the our clone exe file and the arguments are the already known arguments which we used in our mount command before. The service name is a free text field. After installing the service, we can now find the new service in the service overview and you can select if you wish to have it in order start.
By starting the service manually, we will again see the drive in Windows. From now on, you can use every Windows software in combination with Backblaze B2, even if it does not support Backblaze B2 officially. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe if you are interested in further useful tech videos.